All right, so now I'm outside. Just so happens I have a perfect little stump here that's waist high. That's going to be very convenient for me to stab into. So we have our two pens. First, we're going to grab our regular pen. Now, by the way, if you have no interest in buying a tactical pen that's uber cool, uh, keep this in mind. You could always actually use a pen to defend yourself. Okay. Obviously, just take the, the tip and hold it firmly in your hand, and that's uh, very effective. So anyway, here's just a standard pen. I just want to show you. This is like a big style pen. I want to see how much abuse this is going to take and what kind of damage it can do. And solid wood, which is obviously is a lot harder than skin and meat and flesh. But my assumption is it's going to break. Will it break on the first try? I don't know. We're going to find out. So first, uh, for the grip, I'm going to put my thumb on top here for more, more grip so it doesn't slide through. So here we go. Just a nice big old stab in the wood. Pretending this wood is going to hurt me and... I need to defend, defend myself from a stump. Okay. Well, the first hit made a tiny little hole, went about that deep. Can't really see it, and the insert popped out a little bit. Let's try it again. I'm not going to do this because that hurts. <laughs> Here's a little tip for you that hurts. Don't do that. Okay. The second try actually embedded the tip into the wood but it snapped off because that looks like painted aluminum so now our pens are broken not that it matters because assuming we're going to use this for defense but let's say they're still attacking us so we're still hitting them obviously you saw it bent a little bit there now we don't have a tip anymore Now I'm going to start getting ink on me. So there we go. Pen's destroyed. You get a couple smacks in there. But really, the first one's the only one that really counts because your tip is more likely going to either break, bend, fall out of the pen, something of that sort. So, regular pen, not so great. We're going to try this and see how much better it is. Now, the idea or concept behind this as well is that the pen is ready to go. So in a self-defense situation, you're not taking a pen out, taking the cap off, nothing like that. This would be clipped to your pocket, you know, or shirt, shirt pocket, pants pocket, something of that nature, or even the outside of your bag. And the idea is the second that you grab it and retrieve it, you're ready to strike. Okay, that's supposed to be the benefit here as well. You're not fiddling with anything, you're not moving any mechanism, it should be ready to go for you. So let's see how this works out for us. Get the pen stuff out of the way. By the way, as far as the damage in the wood, it only went in about maybe two, two millimeters, just the very tip of the pen. So let's see what this can do for us. Well, the first one I'll try with this to see if that's any better. It is a much wider, flatter surface. All right, more comfortable doing this. Uh, as far as the damage, it went in deeper and it went in wider. But, I mean, it's just solid wood. It's not, I really, I should probably do this. I'll do this again in the future if I can get like a big brump roast or a big hunk of meat or something. Just to, you know, drive the point home. <laughs> no pun intended. Badooch. All right, I want to see how many times I can really kind of smack this and see basically if this aluminum, because that's what this is, the construction is aluminum. I want to see if it'll bend, break, you know, distort, disfigure, anything like that. Well... As far as the damage on here, it doesn't really show. I mean, again, we're talking about solid wood. This is making holes. It goes up to there. Hang on. Let's see what we got here. This is how much tip is going into the wood right above my finger. All right. Again, this is a solid stump here. Um, as far as comfort when I'm hitting this, um, I notice right away when I, when I hit it the first couple times, my hand was orientated with the clip like this. And because I'm striking solid wood and it's not going to give at all, my finger is rubbing on the, the part of the clip that rises up. So it's a little uncomfortable on my hand. If I were to turn that so the clip is on the inside, and it's not going to rub. I feel like I can confidently hit this a lot more in that position. So, I wonder what other mediums I can use. Just thinking aloud. Yeah, a big hunk of meat would probably drive the, 
the point home better because that would be mimicking, you know, skin and flesh a little bit better. And I wanted to see if it can crack bone, which I'm fairly certain it would. So to be continued as far as testing. But I can tell you that um, these are very effective as far as uh, a, a legal defensive option pretty much everywhere in the world, as far as I know. Okay, until politicians catch on that pens can be dangerous too. And they take away everything from us. And when you walk in public, there'll be bubble wrap on the corners of every counter. <laughs> they'll childproof the world so that all the dummies won't hurt themselves and sue everyone. <laughs> until then, um, it's a cool pen. I think you'd be happy if you got one. Uh, keep in mind, this style pen, you may have like $25 for a pen. Um, it's, believe me, it's kind of cheap. I mean, there's some custom pens, which are literally the exact same thing, except for maybe you're getting some titanium, you know, different materials, or just the, the cool factor of, uh, of it being from like a custom maker. But these pens can be anywhere from 100 to $300 for the custom ones. Um, but... That being said, you don't necessarily have to get a Smith & Wesson one. I just happen to have one. Smith & Wesson, it, this particular one is cool for the reasons as me, that I mentioned, and they come in a bunch of colors. But you can still get, like, a similar style of pen for, like, 10 bucks if you really look online, uh, eBay, um, Amazon. It doesn't necessarily have to be this particular one. Anyway, um, wanted to review this. Not, not so much specifically for this pen, but just to talk about these pens in general. These tactical pens can be very effective, and it's another layer in defensive options and it's always good to have options okay i would always recommend a gun first if you can legally and safely do so then a knife maybe for an effective backup uh, weapon to a gun pepper spray is one of the best non-lethal uh, options and something like this may be another uh, option that you want to have for yourself or for loved ones maybe you have a family member that doesn't like guns and knives or are scared of everything but guess what they work at a bank or something and they can use a pen give them something like this and remind them if someone's attacking them, they can always use their fancy pen to, I don't know, stab them in the eyeball, you know, or shove into their collarbone or something. So anyway, that's all. Just want to do a little video on that. Um, but yeah, in the future, when I can, uh, when I can do so, I'll get a hunk of meat and not just for, for this, but I'll, I'll certainly, if I remember, use this for some testing through some meat, but also to, uh, do some slicing tests. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Take care.